Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. I'd like to thank you all for last week's launch and video. I'm really truly grateful for all the comments and the shares and the likes and also to everybody who bought the audio and ebook. I'm truly grateful. So I got a question during the week where someone asked, how do I slow down on a daily basis? And I thought it was really interesting because it got me thinking during the week how I actually slow down because I'm not a naturally slow person. I'm somebody who likes to get everything done. So it is something I work at every day. But I thought I would share my thoughts in this video and I also invite you to share your thoughts down below of how you slow down in life. So the first thing that got me thinking about slowing down is that in general, life is rather fast and everyone around us can be rushing around. Everything's very strongly based on time, getting everything done and just going very fast. And so one of the ways I help myself slow down is by actually helping my thoughts to slow down. So I've mentioned before about meditation, the practice that I like to do, and I invite you to research what works for you and spend a little time each day just slowing your thoughts down. It really, really helps to then slow your actual life down. The next way I help myself slow down every day is by consciously trying to be more soft. Now, softness is the opposite of hardness, so I'm working at noticing where I'm being soft in life and where I'm being hard. And so by softness, I mean actually being kind to myself, kind to others, being gentle in my voice rather than harsh and noticing if I am being hard on myself and hard on others. And just reminding myself to be gentle and kind and soft. And this really, really helps me just to slow everything down. And like with any practice, it's something that needs to be done every day. It's like eating a meal. That meal will sustain us for a certain amount of time, but then we need to eat another meal to then sustain us further on. So like with any practice of slowing down, it does need to become a daily practice where we remind ourselves. We can't just do it once and expect that that's going to work for the rest of our life. And the more we do it and remind ourselves, the easier it gets and the more it pops into our mind to just slow down. The next way that I help myself slow down is I remind myself that not everything has to get done today. So nobody's going to put pressure on yourself more than we actually put pressure on ourselves. So the way that I help myself is I prioritize what's really important for me to get done. And then just cut myself some slack with all the rest. And like with anything, this is very different for everybody, depending on your situation. So it's just really checking in, prioritizing and taking pressure off ourselves. The next way I help myself slow down is I physically go slower. It sounds pretty simple, but if you ever had those days where you're rushing around and you keep getting hit by something or you keep tripping over things, it's like a little reminder to just slow down. So if you can remember during the day, if you're rushing around, even just the remembering, noticing that you're going really fast actually helps to slow down. And then the more you do it, the more you remind yourself when you're going fast to just slow. And also slowing down your breath can really help with this to just physically go slower. And the next way that I help myself slow down is I put myself first. Have you ever had those days where you're running around looking after everybody else when there's things that you need to do? 
So it's learning how to say no, prioritize like I said before, and then knowing when you've got what you need to get done for yourself, then you're able to look after everybody else. And it's a lot as well of losing the need to have the approval of others. And that's something that I work at on a daily basis. Where I'm choosing to approve of myself, whatever I'm going through that day. And losing the attachment of needing approval from other people around me. And remembering that the most important thing for me is relationships in my life. And that nurturing those relationships is more important than getting things done or going fast in life. And you realize when you nurture those important relationships to you, everything else is just detail. So let me know down below how you help yourself slow down every day and how you're getting on in life. I'd love chatting as always down below or over on Instagram. And remember, there's still 10% off if anyone else wants to grab the audio and ebook. I'm going to leave the 10% off till tomorrow. So have a wonderful week. Be kind and soft. And I'll see you in the next video.